Today we are updating this method so that we can recover our device in an easy and fast way, eh? In this video tutorial we'll explain it to you step by step. How you're going to do it and how you're going to be able to recover it. What are we going to do to recover our device? Let's see what this video tutorial is about, step by step, without skipping ahead, okay. As we can see above, we could access. Our device is now reaching what was accessibility enabling. That was the Talvot. We drew one of the letter L's pointing upwards. And we were given access to Google Assistant. From there we could access our device and recover it. But as we can see, these security measures have already been implemented and have progressed. It no longer lets us log in through Google Assistant, it now lets us log in from that option. Previously, on some devices, we could enable ADB debugging. We could also access it this way with a tool, by giving it a single click. We could recover our device this way. And previously also when our phone fell out of our hands. Accessibility was because our phone was completely unlocked. It wasn't blocked when I had accessibility. It gave us access to our device. But since these updates have evolved so much. Now this accessibility feature appears here, up. Down here, and we see this little padlock on the left side. Top, if that's your case. So what I recommend is that you watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so that don't miss any details of what we'll be saying here. A. Also, another thing I want to tell you is that in the video description and in the first pinned comment we will leave other completely different methods. PC method and PC free method, we're going to talk about our Wi-Fi network. We're going to connect to a network and we're going to finish to configure our device and thus be able to access it. Okay, let's get back to where it all started, since our the phone had a screen lock, and what we did was format it. We restored it and now we're left with these functions that we cannot access on our device. Let's take it all the way up to where it appears now, also what? It's also the Google account now, in addition to the block. The Google account appears on the screen, well, in this. video tutorial on how we will recover our device. We'll explain the details to you about what we're going to do now. Also, if you want to try other additional methods, see the description of the video and in the first pinned comment we will be leaving different methods. In order to apply for this and be able to access and recover our device in this way. PC method and non-PC method. In this video tutorial, as we indicated, let's go. Well, here we can see what appears to us. This is our screen lock, down here it says to use my Google account. This is for those people who suddenly forgot about that block of screen but if you know the Google account here you can add what? This is the email address, add the email address here and click next. And then it would ask you for your password. You add the password, click next, and it will give you access without needing to watch the full video tutorial. Let's say you suddenly don't have the number or the email. But you have the phone number, you can also add the phone number. You click next and you'll receive a verification code. We added that verification code and from there we could also access it. But let's say it doesn't have any of these solutions. Then I recommend that you watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. Because in this video tutorial we are going to to use what is a fully updated tool. A tool that we will be running via the PC. For those people, this is very important. Download the tool before running it. It is recommended to disable the antivirus software, since that. This would help prevent your antivirus from blocking the tool when you run it. 
Then we're going to go to the PC and explain all the steps. Okay, let's go and use our antivirus, which would be here. We're going to temporarily deactivate what's happening, we're going to give it a go. Click here where it says virus and threat protection on this shield. Then what we're going to do is scroll down and we'll find this option. This says to manage the settings and we disable this. The first option that appears here is called real-time protection. We'll do this temporarily once we've recovered. We can fully reactivate our phone. Once we do that, we can close it. We're leaving our browser here in our browser we're going to download. Our official page, we're going to write Davy Cell, we'll show you how to spell it. They will write it exactly as it appears here on the screen. Here on Google, they search for DevGel. Let's delete it, how do you spell Davicel D? I V I C E L L Y A for those people can also la. Use aggregar.com and it would take you directly to the page. I would open it directly for you. If you type David Cell, this option will appear that says, David Cell here too or after you get Android DTV. It doesn't matter, don't worry, it's the same one. Clicking on it will take you to our page. Official where you will be able to find many methods here. Up here you will also be able to find the models. You'll be able to find many methods for the devices here. You'll find it. You're going to go down to the last option and you'll find this option that says apps David Cell applications David Cell. On the right side you will be able to find all the tools we have available. There are many tools, but today we're going to focus on this last option. We'll click on it and it will take us to this section. Here you will also be able to find many completely different methods. You'll find PC based and PC free methods for any model here. Let's go here to the last options and let's to find the tool we're going to use in this video tutorial. Something I want to mention here regarding the tool. This tool. Well, here we have the tool. We'll leave the drivers. We'll leave it as is until you extract the tool. It will ask you for what? It's a password. We're going to leave that password right here in this tool. So that you can write it all in capital letters. You download it. The password is ready. Now we'll go to our PC and extract the files. The tool, when you extract it, sorry, you'll be left with what is a PC, right click on it and run it as administrator. Run as administrator. After you run the tool as administrator, you're going to click here on next, next, all on next. Once it's fully installed, it will create a shortcut like the one shown here. But the tool would be running automatically. We're going to click here to finish, we're going to click here to finish. In some cases, when the tool is run automatically. Sometimes the antivirus activates itself. If that's your case, we'll click here to start. If that's your case, where it activates automatically. You disable the antivirus again and run the tool again. In this video tutorial we are going to use what is a mediated processor. Here we have mediated, Qualcomm, Unisoft. Here we have all the references for the models. Huawei, Samsung, Motorola, Lenovo, Vivo, and so on. But today we're only going to work with this MediaTek processor, which would be the first one. Then we click here on the second one, it says service, here we have what this is here. Where we're going to click where it says reset FRP, we also have reset FRP here with. The good Android I always recommend doing this with is the one that is the best. Updated, here on the right we have the drivers, here we have the drivers. They can install it depending on the processor, but what is important is to install. This is the last driver. They download this latest driver, they download it. After you download it, it will look like this, it will look like this. This driver, let's see what it is. Let's see how we can tell if we have the drivers installed. 
To check if we have the drivers installed, we'll click here on the little dot in the center. Click next here where it says remove, click next. Here you'll be able to find out if you have the drivers, it will appear here. But let's say the drivers don't appear here. You're going to click here on this first option that, it says to install, and what we're going to do is connect the phone. When we connect the phone, the drive will appear here. You select it quickly and click here on install. This is for manually installing the driver if it appears. Having said all that, then what we are going to. To do this, click here where it says remove FRP. But before that, what we need to do now is turn off our phone. We're going to turn off our phone. We'll turn it off when our phone is completely. Once paid, we count 10 seconds and all we're going to do is connect it. We're not going to do anything here, we're just going to wait for the driver to appear. This is for people who can't see it, they connect it. They expect the tool to recognize it. Once it recognizes it, and if the driver appears here, install it. You select it and click on quick install, that needs to be done quickly. Now that the process is finished, you'll see FRP. Successful reset, green light on, your phone will now show, loading. Let's wait for our phone to appear charging. When our phone appears charging, it's because we're going to unplug it. We unplugged it and hoped the charging option would disappear. Now what we're going to do is turn on our phone. Let's wait for it to go away. This isn't over yet, as our phone still has some bugs. How do we correct these errors that remain on our phone? I'll explain what you're going to do. Let's press the power button. To check that our phone turns on correctly. It's already on. Now what we're going to do is wait for our phone to start up correctly. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. So you don't miss any details and can find a solution. Your device this way easily and quickly now. What we're going to do is. It's about eliminating the error that will remain on our phone. I'll explain what those errors are. Let's wait. Let's wait a few seconds while it takes us directly here to the start. Now that we're here on the home screen, let's finish setting up our phone. Let's wait, we'll click here on add. We click on add, we click here on manual. We click next. Now we're going to explain the remaining errors on our phone. And how do we delete it? We'll click here where it says, do not copy. Now it's going to take us to where. When your Google account appears, you'll see three options. Create a Google account, add a Google account, or skip it. As you can see here, we have three options, add a new one. Create a new one or skip the account, as our phone has some errors. Let's click, skip, to correct these errors. We click on jump, we click on jump. We click here on, more more, to accept on Google. Now it would take us to this other section. Now, when we get to this other section, we're going to click on the small print. The small blue letters, let's click on it again, it seems. We click here on jump, we click on jump again. Here we click on add, then next, which would take us to the last one. Section where we will finalize this recovery process. We will finalize this recovery process in this easy and quick way. As long as you follow the steps, you'll be able to solve it. Let's click next. We click next here, we're going to click F. To end these errors, as we said. What are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is leave. 
We'll wait here to complete this process. Click continue, click open. What we're going to do now is go ahead with the adjustment. While we're here in settings, we go to about phone, and then we tap on reset. Then we click where it says factory reset and reset. Our phone when our phone doesn't completely reset. We would end up with a device that was completely like new, free of any errors. When it restarts, what we're going to do is configure. Our phone as we just did and that would be all. Add a new lock. A new one, a new Google account, that's all for now, until next time.